hello everyone we are here again this time for power we're going to talk about ultimate ultimate pure unadulterated power in injustice to mobile and when we talk about power we are obviously talking about the beta club beta club the most powerful damage dealing artifact especially for solo raids in injustice to mobile what teams can maximize this ultimate power because <laughs> as powerful as this artifact is not every team can actually use this artifact to the maximum well the first character i'm going to mention raven raven I always say she's always mentioned as a support or she's usually mentioned as a support but i shared a video with you about how uh, you can use raven I, I believe i shared this video on monday two days back so you can check that out uh how you can use raven to defeat your opponent without even having a solo raid specific artifact <laughs> that is true power so but this time around i'm showing you what you would do normally because you are going to have solo raid specific artifacts yeah? you're not just going to say i'm not using them you're going to use them so what team what setup do you use to maximize that power well i'm going to start with using raven with uh classic wonder woman and brainiac what does brainiac offer of course we always, we always talk about this it offers you attack i believe 100 percent attack uh, offers you lethal attack damage to 400 percent 400 percent lethal attack damage you would uh, of course classic wonder woman is giving you a hundred percent critical attack damage and you are going to see up to like 150 million in fact i've even done more than this the match was over so fast but i've done up to like 178 million i, I, I don't think i've ever hit 200 but i've done up to 178 million on just dots so when you have brainiac you have classic wonder woman combined with uh, raven you're just going to wreck the boss like <laughs> it's not even close it's not even a competition in fact at some point you start to feel for the opponent i said oh wow this is crazy crazy but yeah raven obviously i've come to find out that raven brainy and classic wonder woman is like the strongest the most powerful beta club team in this game i don't think there's any if there's anyone I'm missing no i'm see i'm not the alpha and omega of injustice to mobile right so if there's any team that you feel is stronger than raving brainiac and classic wonder woman combination with the beta club let me know in the comment section me will not kill you <laughs> anyways <laughs> i got a little bit too excited there anyways we have another powerful team in fact i would argue this is the second most powerful team with the beta club and that is mr freeze and zatanna then we had uh we, not had hey jesus we had <coughs> we add <coughs> there's no h we add vixen for good measure to give us 200 percent attack uh extra of course that's 200 attack calculated off your base not your overall so that's why that ah, if it were overall more um, uh, evixin would have been the best the best support character in this game but unfortunately alas she is not she's not even close anyways we have the 300 percent damage that we get from zatanna we have health reduction we don't even need it actually we don't need the health reduction from zatanna but it is there so we'll take it <laughs> uh, so we have 300 percent uh additive damage uh combined with 200 percent attack from fixing you have a very strong mr freeze team now i understand that some of you may want to say you may be tempted to say classic wonder woman i would say classic wonder woman for an ascended mr freeze is a waste if your mr freeze is not ascended there yes you could use classic wonder woman here in place of vixen but once mr freeze is ascended you don't need that because a tech character ascended is going to get two 200 percent critical attack damage which at least as of this time i believe that's the cap yeah i think we've done tests on this I, I, I have done tests on this before i didn't get anything above the cap so yeah 200 percent critical attack damage when your character is ascended so mr freeze very much the second best now this is kind of, kind of like a reverse countdown right this is probably not the best way to do, to do this kind of video i should start with the least to the highest but i started with the highest and some of you may have already dropped off after your first video <laughs> yeah I, i'm not I'm, I'm not really good at this youtube thing i think it's evidence on the channel but anyways anyways we're not here to talk about my youtube choices third team 
third best team, the relegated ninja. Of all the ninja, this guy was thought of as the worst. Every tier list from your favorite Injustice 2 mobile creators would have Batman Ninja Batman at the bottom of the list of ninja team. Right now, like the Phoenix, he has her is it a reason or a rose in he <laughs> English is hard. He has he's out, he's out of the fire. The ashes. <laughs> this guy is a beast now, like <laughs> nobody, no ninja team comes close, and uh, he very much deserves that top position. Like, the guy is really, really good. Like, when you combine Batman Ninja Batman with Batman Ninja Robin, all you need is just a fast special. And of course, the fastest special in Ninja System Mobile, Good Black Adam, uh, he, he rises to the occasion. And yeah, it, because of course, what helps Batman Ninja Batman a lot is when it's ascended. So please, if your Batman Ninja Batman is not ascended, it may not be worth it. Uh, at the very least, it won't be as powerful as this. So make sure you have him ascended. He just needs one ascension. And once you have one ascension, you can tweak your builds to get 500% critical attack damage and you are set. You don't need to max out his ascension. Yeah, just do it because I can. There are a lot of materials there. Yeah. So, very powerful team. So, these are the best three teams. But there's one more team or kind of team that you could use. And you may say, oh, dude, you have Raven again. But I'm saying, no. We are talking about Raven as a damage dealer has been the best mr freeze the second and batman ninja batman the third now we're going to look at raven as a support this is obviously the more popular use of raven and I, see guys i understand not everybody has a maxed out raven so in most cases using raven as a support is warranted because it takes time to build i know i, I didn't have raven for a very long time <laughs> I, I think I, start, I I got Raven like two years ago, so and I've been playing for over four. So yes, I understand that you may not even have your Raven max stars. You may just have Raven on three stars. In fact, you may even have Raven on two stars. I believe you can have legendaries on two stars now. <laughs> Crazy times that we live in, right? Uh, but yeah, if you have Raven on two stars, you don't expect Raven to be doing the kind of damage we saw. So when you have Raven on two stars, what do you do? You use Raven the way I'm using Raven in this video. Raven becomes a very powerful support. So, of all the supports, where would I recommend you use Raven? I don't even know if I can recommend anyone because I've seen a lot of amazing gameplays with Raven as support. I've seen Raven as support for Legendary Constantine, Legendary Shazam. I have used uh, Raven as support for Blue Beetle. Legendary Blue Beetle so uh, but i'll just say i can't tell you the best but i'll tell you that my favorite is with the king king of atlantis aquama i know some of you might like with Ra raiding that is also good uh, it's very similar to um koam but yeah um, for me king of atlantis aquama my favorite you can have your favorite let me know what is your favorite beta club team using raven as a damage healer or as a support let me know in the comment section smash the subscribe button and i will see you on the next one